This next question is, what's the difference between a virtual core and a physical core? Well, a virtual core is exactly how it sounds. It's virtual. It doesn't exist as a physical core. A physical core, well, is physically there. Now, let's just say, for example, that you're interested in purchasing an Intel Core i7 8-core CPU. Does that CPU actually have physical cores? Virtual cores, is there a mix? What's going on here? Well, in this case, that CPU would have four physical cores, so actual cores, and four more virtual cores, giving a total of eight cores. Now, the four physical cores uh, has hyperthreading, which means that each core can accept two threads, and this is how you're getting those extra cores. So four physical and four virtual. So when you're looking at purchasing a CPU, you really need to read the fine print and figure out how many cores, physical cores, that you're actually getting. Now, having virtual cores is not a bad thing because they will act really as separate cores, and that's a good thing. So it's not a bad thing. It's just that they are not actually physically on of the CPU itself. Now the new Intel Extreme Edition Core i7 CPUs have six physical cores and six virtual cores to give you a total of 12 logical cores. But what are logical cores? Well, logical cores are simply the addition of virtual cores plus physical cores, so you have, in essence, a total of logical cores, a number of actual cores that's seen by the computer operating system and other applications. So, if you have a processor that does have six physical cores and six virtual cores, then you will get a total of 6 plus 6, 12 logical cores. I hope this answers your question, and keep your questions coming.